Hello and welcome to Mod Shoes Live. Hello. Um, hello. <laughs> um, this is the last sneak peek for the summer. So comment your thoughts below. Let us know what you think of the new shoes. And um, yeah, comment on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, but we will see the comments on Facebook. Sorry about that, I just have to do my usual sort of checks, make sure everything's working. Oh, hello everyone, do do? my mum said hello already. Hello mum. <laughs> uh, 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 um. Yes, format of the show, um, as per usual, we've got some new shoes, which I think you can see here. I think you can see on various cameras. Um, they're our last new shoes of the year, which is Ria's just told you. Uh, um, we're gonna give you some reviews. We've got some lovely reviews from customers and ambassadors as well, which is mm -hmm. fantastic. It is fantastic. And, and some first-hand reviews from you, your beautiful self. So, social media shout-outs. Um, who's watching? We've got a couple of people watching so far. Um, no doubt people will start filling in in a minute. My mum and Julie Blades at the moment. Hello, hello. And uh, I expect we might not get lots of interaction because I think in a, about an hour's cool? time there's a certain football match. So I might be talking quicker than usual <laughs> because I want to go home and watch it myself. <laughs> Come on England. <laughs> Come on England, yes. So Martin Gainsford. Um Mac Martin is chomping at the bit for the bottle green cords. Look great. There's gonna be more of them later, Martin. Where we're, we're there. Should we get straight on to the Steph then? Yes, okay. So I'm introducing the Steph, which is this lovely shoe or well, three shoes here. It is. Um so they are available in three different colourways. So that is duck, egg and white, white and black and black and white. Um, I've been wearing the duck egg and white shoes and I think they are the perfect summer shoe, to be honest. They are, they're rather nice, aren't they? Um, I'm meant to be doing a close-up. What one What one yeah. should I start with? Ooh, what, what one we I should? think you should go for the duck egg one. Should we go with yeah. the duck egg? Let's go with that first. Let's go over to the camera. I've done the white balance tonight, so hopefully this will look nice in the camera. As you can see, right at the front there, it's got a small perforation. This one is in a, a duck egg colour. Hopefully the colour comes out all right. Um, it's duck, ele duck egg <laughs> colour. There's a word I can't obviously say. Uh, um, it's been done that way because I wanted something that reminded me uh, of Una Stubbs, of all people, in summer holiday. And in the late 50s, early 60s, this sort of kind of pointy shoe was quite popular. And it's something that they used to wear with capri pants. But anyway, let's just talk about the construction. It's got man-made sole it's leather on the side here let me go real in close wait for the camera to catch up it's got a lovely sort of aged look there it obviously does up there and it comes in two colors now i'm going to quickly zoom you on to the other colors i'm going to do two at once here just so you can see what's going on it is oh yeah the reverse do you see it's the reverse so let the camera focus up there we go so we got let me put it back so you can see it's black and white and white and black and the idea is I thought these were very beatniky shoes. Um, that's the kind of feel for them. Um, I swear I've seen pictures in the 60s of people wearing very similar things. But we'll come on to some outfit stuff in a second. As you can see, three eyelets, they're leather on the outside, leather on the in, and a leather a bit there, but with a man-made sole on the bottom. My wife was wearing them earlier when she was doing what we call the Nicky Legs pictures, mm -hmm. and she was sliding around and dancing quite happily in them. So oh, anyway. Roger, you could dance the night away in that. Yes, you could. So your thoughts, Rhea? Yes, so, well I was just thinking, when I was looking at them, you could, I would be daring and wear the alternative shoe. Okay. Just oh, saying. what, you would wear one of each? I would, yeah, because you could just be a little bit different. Anyway, um, yeah, so I wore the Steph's, um, like I said, the duck egg and white shoes. Yep. Um, I really love them. I haven't had much wear in them yet. Um, they do take a little bit of wear. Yeah. Um, but I, like I said, perfect summer shoe. The heel is just, you could wear that all day long because it's a very small heel. Well, that, that's what we wanted. We wanted something that yeah. you could wear for dancing and go out in as well. Yeah, um, and you could just slip them on. Like, they, they're easy to put on, um, no trouble whatsoever. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I think with leather shoes, just to mention in about that, I mean, it's yeah. one of the things that you're gonna hear later on in the thing. Uh, let me do it on the close up. What we've tried to do is make it wide here. 
Uh, so there's a, what they call a lot of area oh, okay. in here, okay? And because, without putting too fine a point in it, as we get older, this bit needs to be broader. Yes. And pointy shoes traditionally would end much sooner, and so consequently your feet get crushed. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. that's not a good look, it's, no, and it's, it's not, not good. So there's, there's a lot of room in there. This leather, which we have worn on our trainers, which are over there, it, it takes about a day, and then, then they're yeah. good. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good. And they look good with tights, um, and a dress, perfect with a dress as well. So should we move on to the yes, outfits let's ideas? Yes, go. So um, first up, we've got Kirsten and uh, Jennifer. Yep. Kirsten's on the left. She's wearing a, what I think is a gold um, dress, and she's wearing the white and the black ones. That image is Such just so 60s, image. isn't it? Yeah. Fab, isn't it? I love her hair and makeup as well. She looks amazing in that. But this is the differences with um, Jennifer, who's on the right-hand side. She's wearing a more 50s kind of outfit, which is more her style. Yeah, she looks and stunning. It does, though, doesn't it? It really works really well, that, that different kind of look. Mm -hmm. um, Jennifer is one of our ambassadors, our first ambassadors and she wears a very kind of slightly gothic I think yes. some of her if you look on her Instagram it's fab isn't it because she's got like skull and crossbones but they're really really small and you wouldn't yeah. notice them they're really it's a, a real nice touch of some of the stuff she does so I those two images I think sum up where I was going with the shoes and I'm really pleased with yeah, that yeah they're both very different but also almost similar in yes. a weird way yeah yeah it's very yeah, cool I like it. take it away for the next one okay so um just catching up where i am so next on the screen is lizzie and sarah and they are wearing the steph um okay so first of all the first image of lizzie is absolutely gorgeous i love the contrasting of blues with the duck egg and white shoes um it's almost like it's a modern retro look um, and she just pulls those shoes off perfectly. And then we have, Sarah. sorry, we have Sarah. Sarah. Sorry, yeah. Sarah. <laughs> um, I love this outfit. It's very office meets Northern Soul, um, and it's a perfect sort of dancing shoe. Yeah, yeah. Outfit, isn't it? Which it goes is. with the shoes. And then just at the end, Sarah again. Uh, I mean, this this dress is gorgeous. Perfect yes. 60s style. Works well with the shoes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pleased. I mean, yeah. just of the five images that the, the, the audience have seen on the screen Amazing. so far, you can see the versatility, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really pleased because they're, they're, they're kind of a little bit of a nick from a mod revival shoe, yeah. which kind of just always got war with the same things. Mm -hmm. Whereas these ladies have taken it to the next step, which they I'm are. really, really pleased with. I'm, I'm that, and it's just, just what I was thinking about. So like you cool. say, you, it just shows that you can literally wear it anyway. So you've got a okay. review for us. I do. Yes. Into that. So, I have a review, sorry. You there? It's that one. Where is it? Top. There. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry. So, um, I have a review from Kirsten, and she is wearing the white and black. So, Kirsten says, I absolutely adore these fantastic shoes. They are so easy to style and look fabulous. The mod vibe of them is simply spectacular and so versatile. They're definitely my new favourite pair of shoes. They're very comfortable and a pleasure to walk in. Well, that's fam. So, Lizzie, vintage glamour mama, she's the lady that you saw in the blue earlier, said, yeah. when I saw the baby blue, I gasped. <laughs> These shoes are so chic and so retro. I should be rocking them all summer long with little skirts and mini dresses. They're incredibly comfortable as well as a perfect shoe all round. So, fantastic reviews there from, from, two, reviews. from two of our people. I, um, it's your go. It sorry. is, yes, yeah, sorry. Um, so now we've got some video reviews from Jennifer and Sam. Run VT as I say. Hi everybody my name is Jennifer and I'm a brand ambassador for Mod Shoes. I wanted to tell you today about these Steph shoes um, that are new releases. They're going to be out next Friday that's June 25th. I've got them in the black and white. Um, they have the white tongue um, and the sides are black. Uh, they will come also in white and black, which will be the reverse. They'll have black tongues and white sides, and they will be in um, other colorways as well. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I really love about these is that they are pointed shoes that I could wear comfortably. I am a plus size woman, as you could see, and I have not been able to find a pair of really cute pointed shoes that don't kill my feet. Um, they are either going to squish my toes or they leave marks on the top. They kind of squish on the top. I have not had the problem at all with these. I am so in love with these. 
I've been wearing them for about a week. I've gone out, I've done my shopping with them, I've walked around all day in them. I've had no problems um, with leaving marks on my feet or pinching or they're just a really great dreamy pair of shoes that I highly recommend if you've ever had that problem yourself in finding a nice really cute pointed shoe that doesn't hurt you to wear all day. Uh, again, they will be releasing next Friday. That's June 25th, and I hope that you'll check this stuff out. Thank you. Bye. it's all about style, comfort and practicality. I'm always on the lookout for shoes that both look the part and that are practical for getting about in, whether that's walking or dancing. And like all mod shoes, these tick both boxes. But the great thing about the Steph in particular, if you can see, is that really low heel. It's about a centimetre and a half. So if, like me, you're quite dangerous in heels, these are brilliant. Um, they come with laces, so you can either tie those at the front, or I found they can be tucked quite neatly down the side. Um, like all my shoes, these fit true to size, so I take a size 5, and these fit me just perfectly. There's just enough room, and they don't rub anywhere uncomfortable or anything like that. Um, but also, these are quite a versatile shoe, so as you can see, I've reviewed the black and white which is just so 60s, that 60s monochrome look, you know. It conjures up all sorts of like mod, op art, Peggy Moffat. I love it. Um, but also it has like two-tone and scar vibes. So it's just an all-around really cool shoe. I've been making the most of pairing these with black and white outfits, just properly going for that 60s monochrome look. Um, but I mean, black and white is such a flexible colorway, like what doesn't it go with? So these could just as easily be paired with something like bright and bold, a really vibrant color. Um, equally, I've only worn these with dresses so far, but they would look great with mini skirts and trousers. And I'm looking forward to styling them that way in the future. <laughs> And welcome back. So, just want to say that the, those reviews were amazing from. Uh, they were staff. fabulous. They were they? really good reviews. So, thank you so much for them. Um, so, welcome if you have just joined. Um, just a quick summary. This is the last summer sneak peek. Um, we are just going through some new shorts. New shoes. New shoes that are <laughs> launching on Friday. Um, and if you've missed the first part, then you can watch it back later on Facebook, um, you or YouTube. Sorry. And yeah, comment your thoughts below and let us know what you think and um, yeah we'll see them on Facebook yep I'll tag someone that you think would enjoy oh, the yes, show um, Martin Gainsford's already done that I can see Jackie Baker have a look at these he's just said uh, so thank you Martin uh, I'm really pleased with that uh, social media check in I, uh, because my this has been awkward we've lost a few Vicky Wilson uh, Martin Gainsford Julie Blades Pete Cole yes I've had a haircut uh, um, he says he's late because he was doing the washing up uh, no worries fella um, Pete Cole <laughs> says um, yeah, well done on the, pe the haircut so uh, uh, happy days on that thank you mate oh we've got a couple more Ellie JC hi I'm looking for, I'm looking for these new green shoes well they'll be out on Friday so how exciting is that which you're gonna we're gonna do a close up in that oh, in a minute dang. so we've done the social media finger back to the checkup so we are gonna have a quick look at the artwoods now and um, 
let me introduce these. I'm going to go up to the close up. Now, Rambo, just to tell me, because there's something gone screwy with this, you're, you're saying this close up. So, what, are, what is it the audience are seeing? The close up, but also rear in the background. They can <laughs> see what there. You know, is this filling the screen at the moment? or? No, it's filling a quarter of the screen. So, you can see the close up and you can also see the other camera. Ah, right. Okay, right. Mm. Okay, so we're going to have to drag that and fix that. Sorry, guys, um, something's gone wrong. So, basically, um, weird anyway so is that like up the top <laughs> left or something ridiculous yes, like that either, yeah. right i'll be really quick then um their cord lever it's on a trainer sole but they look like a cycling shoe um they're very smart yeah they are very <laughs> cool um what else are you going to say about them um if you've got a pair of our frescoes or lucas or ricos they're very similar to them they're built on the same last but we think or I think the design lends itself more to a cycling shoe from the 60s than uh, anything else. So um, I'm pleased with that. I think they're kind of cool. Let's go back to the main yeah. camera because obviously that camera's playing up. Um, what was I going to say about it? Um, really pleased with them. Um, I love the contrast thoughts? and colours as well. It's I nice, it's isn't really, it? Yeah, really nice. Yeah, it's a needle cord on the side there. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's okay. another cord which we're obviously going to go on to talk about yep. in a little while. Um, and cord, um, yeah, it's good. In terms of these, wearing these, I will give you some things. I've got an eight on. Um, I'm an eight and a half quite broad. This bit here, across the bit here, let me talk into my camera. This bit here um, is... If you're quite broad, it might be an idea to go up because one of the things that we're going to talk about when we talk about the Terry is to get a cord shoe, it has to be backed with something. Right, okay, yeah. and so when you back it with something, otherwise it would just it was just like wearing a bag. Mm, it would fall apart. It'd be too soft. So it does take a little bit of effort to kind of get that to stretch because you've got okay. two materials to stretch. Yeah, of course. Um, personally, I should have gone up to a nine, but I've had these eights on. They're all right. They're nice, but I should have gone up. Um, so if you're particularly broad there, you might want to go up a size. If you're just a slim foot, these are going to be fine. They're lovely. Um, I love the stitch detail as well. It's ace, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Fat. Yeah, love yeah, that. let's call that. Um, okay. Rhea. So now on the screen is Tom and Nick in the artwoods. And I'll get up the images now. So these images are really cool. So thank you so much for both of those. Um, I just so first thing, we'll go on to Nick. I think what Nick is wearing is very summery vibes. It's yep. very... Um, Nick is on the right, by the way. He's on the yeah. right. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and then Tom on the left is more autumnal. Yes. But I think that shows that the shoe itself can be worn all year round. Yes, I'd agree. And also we we do sell these tops don't we we do so we've got the tom on the left is wearing the rude boy with mm -hmm. a pair of jeans uh nick on the right is wearing our lenin top um i know we're going to get a question about the lenin tops <laughs> <laughs> they are being made <laughs> as we speak nick was lucky one of the lucky people to get them um i think the, the guys look good they look good yeah. yeah really good images yeah um i think it's fab if we go to the next image which is the outfit suggestions we'll see that we've put them various tops. Now, as you would have seen with Tom and um, Nick, um, I think they work with many things. And obviously the things that we sell, mm -hmm. I try to make sure everything works together. So as you can see, there's a Ricky top and the Carl's. Blue jeans, white jeans, a pair of these, you, you set up for summer. I think yeah, that's a really cool look. Yeah. I think that looks really nice. I think they um, look good with shorts as well. I think you could get away with that. Also yeah. trousers, but I think, I think you could Work yeah, with some white jeans. Yeah, I, I, it depends how you, it depends how you style it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. So I think that's cool. I think okay. we're, we're done with that bit. Um, that's enough for me. We've got yet another video review. So run the VT. Hi there, I'm Tom Hoy, and these are the Artwoods, brand new and exclusive to Mod Shoes. <laughs> Mod Shoes have done a range of brilliant cord shoes over the last couple of years, but none quite like the Artwoods. Based on a pair of 60s cycling shoes and named after the 60s mod group the Artwoods, these are quintessentially mod and are a brilliant nod to a style of footwear that would be hard to source elsewhere. They're true to size, comfortable on first wear and look great with a wide range of different pieces. Featuring a rubber sole, cord on the main body of the shoe with leather panelling, reminiscent of the bowling shoes mods would wear in the 60s. They're a great alternative to a desert boot and have an authentic 60s design to them. Stand out from the crowd with something a little different, the Artwood, brand new and exclusive to mod shoes.
I want to thank Tom for doing that video review for us. It was very good of him. Very good review. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's very, he's, he's good. He's a good lad. He does some really good stuff. Um, don't forget, um, we've said this once already. If you've jumped into the show halfway through, you can watch it again on YouTube and or Facebook, um, and where you can leave comments and ask questions and all that sort of stuff. Um, social media check in, and then we're going to get on to dun, 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 dun. The, the lady shoes. So let's just do. I'm. This is. Um, I think my phone is messing up, oh, really? <laughs> so uh, bear with me a, a minute, people, because I don't want the, one of the things that we do. Let's press this button, press that button, and s yes, right, we've got some back. Back on. Um, we've got yeah. I don't have all the comments. It's decided to go on. Gary Abyss, when will the bowling shoes in back black be back? Size seven and eight. I think uh, uh, <laughs> they will be back. Um, they're going to be back in September. I've just had to recall. We've ordered a load of stuff. A lot of the stuff that is kind of going out. Basically, the Portuguese and the Spanish are on holidays now. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, they go on holiday July and August, and nothing gets made till September. So we we kind of we've got what we've got now until right, September. Okay. Um, uh, Lee Knowles says hashtag Southgate out. We had a long discussion here today at Mod Shoes about how Lee Knowles, who works here, thinks he can do a much better job than uh, Gareth Southgate can from Eng uh, for oh, England. Oh, God. That conversation there. could have lasted all day, so let's not get into that. Um, Andrew Money says, one word, perfection. Thank you, mate. Uh, Pete Cole says, what's the price? You have to wait till oh. the end of the show to find out. It's all in the summary. <laughs> Lee Knowles, those linen tops are class, fantastic quality and great fit. Thank you, mate. Gary Abyss says, okay. Uh, Lee Knowles, oh, I can, lots of laugh. <laughs> Wayne Rolo has put hashtag Lee Knowles out. Uh, um, obviously a friend of his and knows him well. So uh, um, there we go. Rhea, introduce the Terry's. Okay, so here are the Terry's in this little column here. And they come in three colorways and also dun, 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 they are vegan so first we have cherry red um, we That's have cherry red oh sorry cherry red <laughs> that I am wearing yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have I've just lost where I am and then we have the rosé rosé I'm thinking of wine here yes the rose which are like a purple sort of colour aren't they yep and then the forest green they um, are and I've been wearing the cherry pear and they are, I love the pointed heel. I think they are, that's such a fabulous um, detail. Detail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the big of the words. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. Now, I'm always be believe in being honest. Rhea's had them on, and um, yes. she said, I think, let's be honest about it, they are going to take a bit of wearing in. Yeah, they're a gorgeous shoe, but they are going to take a little while. Yeah, now um, the reason being, and I'll go over to the camera yes. and explain why, let's, they are made of vegan, now this is going to go up into the corner, but inside, they, again, we have to have the inner and the outer. Now, what happens on the Daintons and the Elliots and all of the cord shoes that we've done so far, is that those two things need to kind of break down and once they break down they go really soft right. and it takes probably four or five hours of, hit, of warm wearing do you, under, do you understand what i'm saying so i'm zooming that round i'm very conscientious that it's not shown full in the screen we've got some technical issues but you can see it's a lovely jumbo cord and they're vegan the vegan glues and everything like that the only reason we haven't gotten certified as vegan is it costs an arm and a leg to get done oh, but no. there you go so that's it in the rose color which should look nice and rose yeah we've got the green that green is gorgeous the green yeah it's nice isn't it yeah that's fab you know really nice i think martin gainsford's wife likes them so we'll just keep showing showing <laughs> that again lovely man my soul i think it's gonna be fab to dance in it and you they're know. very soft yeah very yeah. soft to touch yeah it's good and lastly um we've got them in the bright red color let's wait for that to focus sorry people that is so red it's it's it's, it's almost killing the camera but they are just beautiful that's just got summer and fun and just kind of cool vibes written all over it and i can't remember the last time a lady's cord shoe was out so uh, um, yeah you don't really see you don't really see that that often no, though, do you which you makes don't. them more special yes and um, they're based on a pair that's over there 
<laughs> which I should have brought oh, up. Oh, <laughs> I should go and get after the break. Um, so yeah, um, so obviously I've been wearing them, and like Andy said, it does take a little bit of wear. So um, once that sort of um, shifts, then perfect. Um, right. I've been wearing it with dog tooth. Um, we can wear it all red. That's that's what I've been really wearing them with. So um, I think red goes. Red is like a spot colour, isn't it? Like you're yes. wearing it there. But let's go on to the outfits, and I think yes. that will that kind of explain what some of the people are, are doing. So uh, Andy, now on the screen is Linda and Lizzie. Um, is um, Linda from America, Rambo? Yes, she's one of our um, American um, ambassadors. Um, she's wearing them with the olive green, as you can see there. Um, there's quite a few shots when when you go we go live on Friday. You'll see there's quite a few shots of her wearing that. Again, look, she's wearing it bare legged, you know, all the way yeah. up with just a, a nice little skirt there um, and just the, the shoes. Fat. It's a very simple but classic. Yeah. Outfit, isn't it? But it works Liz really well. Yeah, it does. Lizzie on, on the right hand side has got the rose ones. Yeah. Again, she's wearing them with red and some burgundy, so she's matched them in with the trousers. How amazing there. on those trousers. I know, they're, they're cool. <laughs> Lizzie has got some of the most fantastic clothing I know, in the world. I have yes. seen. I have yes. stalked her Instagram. Yes, stalked her Instagram. <laughs> I yeah. have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, um, but yeah, she's, she's, spot she's picked out the colour from the shoes in her outfit. Um, and it works just beautifully. Yes, yeah, she, she's a fantastic ambassador for us. Yeah. Um, but let's, um, so that's them. Okay, yeah, sorry. So it is, now it's Izzy and she is wearing the Terry's as well. And she's wearing the red ones, um, the cherry pair, should I say. Do, do you follow Izzy on, on Instagram? I don't, but I will. Izzy posts something every day. Does she? She is amazing. And th th this is, look, this is very Izzy. Look how many pictures she's I done. I know, how amazing. So that just shows that the shoes are so versatile and what you wear. She she's has. wearing different colours. It's very nautical, actually. Yes. Um, yeah. But I, what I, that. I mean, is there anything that particularly pops out to you that you like there? Or I actually love the baby blue with the red. I think that second image. Yeah. Um, they really work. It's like a bit of snow white look, isn't it? Really? It is really, isn't um, it? Yeah, I haven't thought about But they really that. work well with baby blue, um, which I didn't think it would. So. No, it's cool. Yeah. Now, what I think is interesting about that is, um, now, knowing what I know of Izzy, she, uh, she has got a lot of outfits. But what I think she's trying to prove is that you can wear it in lots of different outfits. Yes. So look, on the left-hand side there, that's like a, a, a daytime outfit, yeah. as, as is the far right. But the two in the middle are going outfits. Yeah. The one, the red dress with the red shoes and the black tights, that's a, an evening outfit. Yeah, definitely. That's going for a meal and looking nice. Yeah, you know, it, and that's fantastic. I'm, I'm so, I'm really, thank you, Lizzie, Izzy, even. Uh, um, that's really fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, I think I think so. Okay, so um, we have another ambassador review for the Terry's, and that is from Linda in Texas. So Linda wore the forest green ones there. Okay, so I received the vegan Terry in green, and I am. I'm so excited about the versatility of the shoe. The corduroy fabric, pointed toe, and simple laces allow it to be dressed up or dressed down. Um, not only are they cute, they are comfortable. I was able to wear them for work and also out with friends at night. Which is also fun about the Terry. Uh, what is also fun about the Terry is that it looks authentic vintage shoe, um, staying true to the wonderful fashions of 60s and 70s. I adore them so much. Um, Lizzie, who's vintage glamour mama, you were sort of seeing the lady earlier. I adore these beautiful suede shoes, the perfect complement to all my groovy flares and very flattering shoe too. Lovely. Um, and now we have a video review from Izzy in Italy. We do. Hi everyone, I'm Izzy from Italy. I'm a Mod Shoes Ambassador and today I'm here to show you the Terry in this lovely shade of cherry red. These are super comfy. I wore them around Rome a lot, pairing them with everything, shorts, trousers, skirts. They're super comfy and they're coming out this Friday at 5 p.m.
Well, hi again, guys. Uh, we're back in for the last part of the show and the summary yep. and bits and pieces. Okay. I yeah, um, I just wanted to show the video there we just saw was um, Izzy wearing them. Um, you, you would have seen that she lives in Italy and she's worn them lots of places. I'm really yeah. chuffed. I, I did say to her, can you wear them as many Italian places as possible? And she has. <laughs> Get um, all those shots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bless her. She's done, she's done absolutely fantastic there. So I'm really pleased. So, okay. Rhea. So, um, just a quick summary on the Stephs. Um, they are available in three different colorways. So duck egg and white, white and black, and black and white. Um, the price of them are 88 pounds. Um, they are limited edition, so yep. I suppose will they run out until they run out. They run out. <laughs> and okay, and the launch date is Friday the 25th of June. So that's this Friday at 5 p.m. Okay, moving on to the Artwood. The Artwood, the Artwoods, I should say, because that was the name of the band. The Artwoods Chords is just one colourway. Um, it's a sort of camel brown colour. It's two shades of brown, basically, but or, or, or kind of sand colour. Um, they're in, in at 89. The, the moment they're a limited edition, we might run some more colours and stuff like that. We'll see how we get on. We're pleased with them, I really think. Again, they'll be out this Friday. Rhea. Perfect. Um, and then we've got the Terry's, this, these ones here. Um, again, available in three different colourways, and they are vegan. Um, the price of them will be £86. Um, again, these are limited edition and will be launched this Friday at 5pm. Right, I think we're nearly done. Um, it's spring summer now. Uh, the Euros are on telly. Um, we're gonna we've got to do a quick couple of videos before we leave this evening, but we are super excited about England and going home to watch yes. that. We've had a fantastic first six months of the year. It's been really good doing these shows. Um, we've really enjoyed it, putting them on. Hopefully we've got a little bit more professional as we've been going along. Uh, um, it's been lovely. I want to thank everybody that's been and helped. Um, so that's uh, it's Bethany, there's been Simon in the past, Luke, uh, various other people that have been come along and helped. I'd like to thank Rhea, who's thank been you. stepping in. Uh, um, um, there's somebody else, somebody else. Oh, I, cannot, I can't think who else I need to thank. <laughs> Who else? Oh, Rambo! Well done, Rambo, yeah. Woo! And Rambo over there. <laughs> um, guys, I hope we have a fantastic... Uh, let's hope we do well at the Euros, but let's hope we have a really good summer. Let's yes. hope we get lockdown done on July the 5th and we can all go out and enjoy the, wearing these shoes yes. and all of the things. We do have some... I have a kind of couple of little things coming out in the summer, but nothing big. Something nothing big to do this with. So from now until probably September time, this is it. We're gonna sign sign off in a second. So can I thank every single one of you for being customers? It's when we look at the comments that we get online, it's absolutely fantastic. We I only have I think five what a load of rubbish comments <laughs> and about 3,000 I love these shoes oh, I love that nice. and it's so very nice when it and it makes me feel really good that you you love what we do so anyone anyway, look let's get, stop rabbit in thank you very much thank you Ria no, thank, thank you, you Rambo thank all of you for watching we'll see you in September bye, bye. <laughs>